Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spark If YouTube channel. It's Maria, and for today's video, I'll be showing you all how to draw the basics of one point perspective. So I hope you all enjoy. So for my materials, I have Strathmore paper, a pencil, eraser, and a ruler. So the first step that I'm going to do is measure halfway down, and since the length of my paper is 9 inches, the center is going to be 4.5 so I'm going to make three marks and then I'm going to turn my paper horizontally and using those three marks I'm going to draw my horizon line and your horizon line is at the center of your paper then my next step is I'm going to draw three horizontal lines from one inch to three inch four and a half to six and a half and 8 to 10 and these are going to be my top and bottom of my boxes my next step is I'm going to draw a vertical line from the line I just drew 2 inches down and this is going to help us and be used as a guide so we know where to draw our second um, horizontal line which is going to be the bottom of our box Next, now you're going to draw your three horizontal lines to create the bottom of your boxes. Then you're going to just draw three horizontal lines again from the one inch to three inch, four and a half to six and a half, and then eight to ten inch. Then my next step is I'm going to turn my paper so that it's positioned vertically. Then I'm just going to use my ruler and draw in my horizontal lines to close off all of my boxes. So my next step is to find the vanishing point and to find the vanishing point you need to find the center of your paper or the center of your horizon line and since my horizon line across is 11 inches half of that will be five and a half inches so at the five and a half five and a half inch mark I'm gonna place my vanishing point Next, I'm going to go ahead and draw my orthogonal line and your orthogonal lines are any lines that line up with the vanishing point. So right now, I'm drawing my first orthogonal line and I'm making sure that my ruler is lined up with the vanishing point. And I'm going to continue for all three of the corners of my box and since this box is above the horizon line 
This means that we're gonna see the bottom and the side of our box of our box so right now i'm just going ahead and drawing my horizontal line and then next i'm going to draw a vertical line to close off my box and then after that i'm just going to erase those lines those orthogonal lines that we don't need and once i do that I will be left with a box. Then I'm gonna draw my box in the middle. And since this box is directly in front of us and above the horizon line, we're gonna see um, the bottom of the box. We're not gonna see the sides. So that's what I'm drawing in right now. I just drew the two orthogonal lines and then now I'm closing the box with a horizontal line. Then for my third box on the right, it's going to be the same way how we did the first box. Since this is again above the horizon line and it's off to the right side. We're going to see the side of the box and also the bottom of the box. So again, I'm drawing in my orthogonal lines. And those orthogonals, again, are going to um, connect from the three corners of our box or square. And I'm just making sure that my orthogonals are correctly lined up with my vanishing point. Then now I'm going to draw my vertical line to begin to close off my, my box. And then... I'm going to draw my orthogonal line. Then I'm going to start with the middle row of my boxes. So the first cube, it is directly in front of us and off to the left side. So we're going to see only the side of the box. And for this cube, or the box in the center it is directly in front of us so we're not going to see the sides or anything we're just going to see the front then for the third cube in the middle we're going to see only the side of it and for these bottom boxes we're going to see the sides and the tops for all three except for the box in the middle So here is the finished result and I know one point perspective can be a little bit confusing but remember that your orthogonal lines always have to come back to the vanishing point and make sure you're using your ruler and measuring the edge of your ruler with the end of your paper so that way you know you're making straight vertical or horizontal lines. And yeah, just keep practicing. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out www.sparketh.com for full online art courses where kids and teens can learn from home. Bye.